Good morning, guys. We're back on our bullshit. Here or do I put it up here? Maybe I put it up there. I think I must because if I put it down there, it look, looks weird. Okay, today we didn't get Starbucks or Chick fil A, we went to McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. I got a mocha frap and a Diet Coke. What'd you get, Mom? I got apple pies because they actually have apples in them and a Diet Coke. <laughs> The way, the way you include they actually have apples in them, like that makes them healthy. Well, it makes me feel better that they are healthy. Look at these videos. And Meredith took them. Um, he's three years ago today. I'm 20 now. So, oh, okay. So she's 16, but that means he's like 14 or 15. I don't know. Or she's 17 and he's 15. Oh, uh, these are like, um. Yeah. Uh. But this is when. I'll just bleep all their names. This is when was dating well, like somewhat seeing him but like low-key cheating on her boyfriend with him uh -huh. yeah like she was cheating on her boyfriend in this moment uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mar this is literally what Mary said y'all don't ask why i videoed either of those things but i could really ruin them both blah ha, ha. it's giving me such a good laugh this a.m <laughs> And I said, oh my god, who is the second guy? She said, I should really post the f***ing one, blah, blah, blah. F <laughs> that is so funny. That has made my morning. That is so funny. Mom, I'm going to tell you about this because this is actually really funny. And it involves just me. And Sarah Shelton and like Buzzy in my date. Okay, so we I went to a champagne and shackles thing with my date, right? Uh-huh. And like I wanna say like maybe I hadn't taken my Adderall that day or like maybe I like hadn't started taking it yet. But when I take it like I can drink more and I don't get buzzed. Mm-hmm. Well there like you have to finish the bottle of champagne to get out of the shackles and I wasn't on it. So I was like drinking like really fast, like with him, so he could get out of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, well we both are like shit faced, like blacking out. And there's this picture that Buzzy like, it's like time to be real or whatever. And Buzzy takes a picture and it's like a selfie of him and Sarah like this, like smiling. And he puts it on like me and my date. And I'm like literally like passed out like on the couch. And my date is like laid across me. <laughs> Let me see if I can find it. It's really Is funny. passed out too? Yeah, like we're like both like passing out, like like we're going through like blacking out, like we're like passing out, like waking up. Honestly, like did I include it in one of these things? I need to find it again. I don't think I would, but it was so funny. It was so funny. I liked him, but he's just, we'll see. Maybe I'll Snapchat him when I get back to Raleigh. I'm pretty sure he's in this. Yeah, this is him. Mm. Yeah, like he's cute. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can find it. How'd you end up with him? Um, uh, He was in Brock and Buzzy's frat. 
and I like matched with him on Tinder like last summer and then like I was like texting him and I went and looked back at his pictures and I was like wait are you in such and such like his frat and he was like yeah lol like how'd you know and I was like oh I like recognized your little like I know him and then I like went and got like dinner with him at noodles and company like he's he's a good conversationalist in person but like not in person it's like brutal like every text so like be real takes a picture like front and back camera so like this is what buzzy and sarah looked like like so cute like mm -hmm. okay this is what gets <laughs> mm. <laughs> and like you can already tell by this like or maybe yeah so like molly woke up and like reacted to it <laughs> And Sarah reacted to it on her account, but it was like all his Buzzy's little friends were like reacting to it. And people were commenting on it. They were like, oh my God. Yes. I literally just thought I was going to have to sleep there. Like I didn't think I was going to be able to get up. And then the next morning I couldn't find my phone. And I had just gotten this phone. Like the brand new one, y'all. I had just gotten it like literally maybe three days before. And I was convinced, like, I had, like, lost it or somebody had stolen it, like, right when I woke up at, like, the bright and early time of, like, 7.30 in the morning. And, um, he's like, I think you left it, like, you might have left it on the couch, like, let me go look. And he literally opens the door and there are people in his living room. And he's like, oh, like, because Sarah just left me there. <laughs> Damn. It was funny. Like, we knew him. Like, he was, like, a friend. Like, it was okay. It was, like, not... Nobody's gonna let anything happen to me there. Okay. Well, they, like... They, Sarah and Buzzy just left me there, like... <laughs> laid out on this couch. Well, the next morning I woke up. And I couldn't find my phone. So... And he, like, was, like... There are people, like, out on the couch, like, sleeping. Like, I'm not gonna go out there. Like, we'll have to look for it in a second. Like, when they wake up. And I'm, like no we don't and I get on his phone and I call it and it's like vibrating and like ringing in the living room and he's like I don't want to go get it like that's so mean and um oh, so oh, I'm, yeah. I'm literally like in a t-shirt I take my dress like because it was strapless off the floor and I like pull it up over my like butt and I walk out there and I'm like I'm so sorry to wake y'all up but I did not give a fuck I was like my phone is in here somewhere and they were like what what time is it like we've been hearing it do we have to leave and i was like i don't live here but probably <laughs> and then i went back in the room like back in the bedroom and i had my phone and i went back to sleep <laughs> for like a couple minutes <laughs> and then when we like when i woke up to leave like those people were gone <laughs> i'm having some strange no, it's funny. No, that's just strange. You were literally telling me about how you went to a guy's house with his parents the other night and he was showing you his bedroom. Well, that's when I knew he was a loser. <laughs> I mean, trying to convince me. I was thinking about this last that night. He was that he can be high and drive without any problems. Too. No, you can't. You fucking cannot. Speaking well, that from was experience. What I was saying. Too. Speaking from experience, you cannot. But he was trying to convince me. Well, he was a drug dealer. He probably can. Some people can drive when they're high. I well, fucking. He wasn't making. I I was like. Me feel safe. I was like, I'll drive, right? Because mine hadn't kicked in, and it kicked in like literally when I sat my ass in the car. And I felt like I was on a roller coaster, like the entire time. Like I had to like, like it was, all of us got high like the first week of school before classes had started. At like 5.30, like all of us had taken something and it just like wasn't kicking in for me. And I was like, yeah, I'll just try to drive this, like whatever. 
and I like sit my ass like in the seat to like drive back to Meredith and I'm like I literally felt like like I wasn't but I literally felt like I was like laying down in the car like this like Like, I can vividly remember, like, thinking I was driving, like, laid back all the way down like this. Like, and I know I wasn't. Like, my friends might have been high, but they wouldn't have let me do that. Like, I can't see. They know it. Like, I know I was sitting like this, but I just literally remember thinking I was driving just like this. <laughs> and I, I, like, we literally were, like, 1.2 miles away from Meredith. And I swear to God, I thought it was like a 30 minute drive. Well. I haven't done it again. Well, he was on the mountain road. Oh, fuck that. And he was trying to convince me that he can do it anytime. That he can do it all the time. Which, that doesn't make me feel any better, but. If I haven't said this before, this guy was also a drug dealer. You've literally told me before he was a drug dealer. Well. Like mother, like daughter. <laughs> Who are you dealing with? Nobody right now. Right now. So when I was in high school, I did. Uh, that's not saying a whole lot, though. No, that's really not. I, I liked this one guy in middle school, and I used to, like, Snapchat him, like, pretty frequently. Like, I Snapchatted him a good bit. And, um, we were always, like, really good friends. And then, like, when I, like, broke up with my, like, first, like, boyfriend, boyfriend, um, he, like, decided, he was like, this is my time to shine. And I should have taken it. I, sh he's beautiful. Like, I should have gotten with him. I mean, now he's not so pretty, but, like, he's still, like, not ugly. But he was, like, silly. Well... He wanted me to come over and get high with him before any guy in, like, Rocky Mount, Red Oak area, Nash, Nashville, like, had asked me to. Oh. So he, went, he had manners. <laughs> yeah, he wanted to share. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, y'all, bye. We have to go run some errands.